monopolize with the market and they just kind of stay there. But then again, so do all your all of your other prices, right? It's, it's sort of like, think of it like this way. What if you made 10% less money this year, but your spending power was 15% greater? Make sense, right? I mean, that's, that's basic math. It means you have roughly, again, I don't want to go into the, the, the weeds on explaining the percentages, but roughly a 5% increase in your lifestyle as a result of that. Make sense? So, in, because remember, men don't work for money. They don't work for little green pieces of paper. They work for what the money will buy. And if they if, if they see their lifestyles increasing, right, then they're not really too worried about the money itself. They're worried more about like, you know, hey, can I continue to 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 give give my wife the life she wants, right? Can I continue to give my kids the the life that that you know the life and upbringing that that I want to right I mean that that's how that's kind of how it's men that's how men think okay so when it when as it portrays like this when you have the division of labor your 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 people are able to get really good at this and now when division of labor breaks up here's what happens you have people doing too many different things they they well how many of you are experiencing this exact same thing right you you've you've got a side hustle and then you've got another side hustle and then you've got a side gig and then you've got your full-time job that you're only getting 30 hours on because you know they, they don't want to give you any benefits or anything so you're only getting like 30 29 and a half hours or some shit like that and but that's considered full-time and then you've got all like you understand at a certain point you can't really truly get get really good at anything and then on top of that because nothing pays anything and because you don't really make any money on anything you always have your foot out the door everywhere you are you always have one foot out the door and there's also no loyalty anywhere i mean there's none of the companies are loyal to their people anymore they don't care about the long-term health of the company they certainly don't care about the long-term health of their employees i realize all the corporate propaganda hr departments i i realize you guys put out you you spew out all this bullshit corporate fucking propaganda about how that everybody new hires you're a part of the team and all that bullshit i dude i get all that okay but you know what makes people feel part of the team enough money to stay interested and enough money to where they can actually focus on that job and they don't have to worry about you know 50 other fucking things they can actually focus on that that's how you can tell them if they're actually part of a team right the jack welch idea where you just lay everybody off all the fucking time dude fuck off okay no one's going to be loyal to you they just they're not going to you know they're they're going to steal steal your company secrets and sell them to somebody else and i don't blame them if they do you brought that on yourself because again it's like this is just how this works the service is always on par with the pay it's just how it works right Peep, men are very good at this i'm not picking on women i'm just saying in general men are actually really good at this it's the, it's the one thing that men are actually almost it's almost genetic they're really good at knowing when they're being screwed when they're doing a lot of work and they're like man i'm doing a lot of work and this is just not panning out for me this is just the numbers just aren't there like i'm doing a ton of work and i'm taking these phone calls and i'm dealing with these angry people and on and on, and on. i mean all the shit that all the shit that that, that you deal with and you're like the numbers just don't line up, man. This just isn't working. I can't really afford anything. Uh, I'm, I'm constantly struggling all the time. Yeah, so you're going to always have one foot out the door. You're always going to be looking for somewhere else. That's not how you get your 10,000 hours. For those of you who don't know, when I keep mentioning 10,000 hours, it's just that's how long you do something. If you, if you do it long enough, you get really good at it. You get so good at it, in fact, that you achieve sort of basically artisan level right where you you've done it for so long that you know in almost instinctively what to do right that's the 10,000 hours or and you can actually be more creative and stuff that's that's where you know you can expand from there but most people aren't getting that they're not getting to those numbers which is why you're seeing everything it's why it's getting harder and harder to find the guys who've got who actually are really truly good at something it's getting harder to find those guys